The Eurozone's money men have held talks in Brussels on ways to boost the bloc's emergency bailout fund. It came as Italy's borrowing hit record euro highs. Greece's finance minister was also in town to secure his country's next bailout instalment. We have the necessary political consensus, we have the necessary national unity and also the national commitment and determination to go ahead. Also, we are ready to contribute in this very important discussion for the future of the Eurozone, for a strong Eurozone capable to react and to send very clear messages to the market. But initial hopes of bolstering the zone's rescue fund to around 1 trillion euros look to have fallen well short, with reports ministers may be forced to seek IMF help. Germany's finance chief Wolfgang Schubler admitted the market situation was serious. Yes, the rates of return for some European countries have increased dramatically on the secondary markets. We've seen spreads increase for some countries as investors from some parts of the world flee the Eurozone. As a result, it's very important for us to implement our decisions clearly. This will only be done when the structure of the single currency and fiscal union become the European Central Bank's new head, Mario Draghi, in Berlin have so far refused to buckle, despite pressure on both for the ECB to ride to the Euro's rescue. As our correspondent at the EU Council explains... Finance ministers have promised to give the go-ahead to the next slice of financial aid to Greece and expressed hope the zone's financial stability mechanism will be strong enough. We will only know if those hopes become reality next week, when EU heads of state meet here in Brussels.